Okay, now just remember. Stand still and I'll bring it to you. Yeah, I haven't left the house in a while. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can make a GFX using Blender 2.83. And the things that we'll be needing in this tutorial are Blender 2.83, Roblox Studio, and a rig which I'll be showing you how to download in a little bit. So yeah, let's just get started. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to open Roblox Studio and we're going to click Base Plate. Now, if you haven't used Roblox Studio before, the way you can move in Roblox Studio is the same way that you would move in actual Roblox. So you just click WASD, and that's how you'll be able to move around. So the next thing that we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna make sure that our toolbox, explorer, and properties are all open. And if they aren't, then you can go to view, and you're gonna wanna select all of these and make sure that they're all open. So the next thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to click toolbox, we're going to go to the toolbox and we're going to click models and we're going to select plugins. And you can either look up the low character plugin or you can just select the first one because it should be right there. And you're going to want to install it, mine is already installed so I don't need to. But you're just going to install that and you're going to want to go to plugins and you're going to click load character. So the next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to put in any Roblox username that you want. I'm just going to put in my own. And you're going to want to make sure that spawn at origin is checked off and you're going to click spawn R6. Now you can click the X on that and it should be loading in. There it is. Okay, so now you can put in any props or any rooms that you want your GFX to be in. I'm just going to put in a small flower prop. I'm just going to put in this one and I'm going to drag it next to my character and now that we have our props you can also change your face and what you're wearing and just anything that you want in your character before going into blender so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to images and i'm going to look for a face that i want um i'm just going to look up the super super happy face because that's like the face I'm obsessed with right now. So super, super happy face. And you're just gonna click one of these. You're gonna right click it and you're gonna click copy asset ID. And you're gonna want to open up your character. So there's an arrow right here. And you're gonna wanna open up the head and go to the face right here so you click the face decal and the texture you're just going to paste this in so you have just copied the asset id and you're pasting it right here and you're going to click enter and now you have the face or whatever image that you wanted to put onto your face Okay, so I'm just going to close this up now and you can change anything that you want on your avatar, but I'm just going to leave it like this. And we're going to right click our character and we're going to click export selection down here. And you're just going to save it to wherever you want to put it, um, but make sure that it's in desktop and not in pictures or anywhere else on your computer make sure that it's in desktop okay and now what we're gonna do the same thing for our prop or you don't have to have a prop but if you would like to you can 
and I'm just going to name this flower. And now we're done with the Roblox Studio for the second, but don't close it yet. Now we're gonna go to Blender 2.83. And if you have not downloaded this, I will leave a download link in the description. So we're just going to go to here. We're gonna click download Blender 2.83. I have already downloaded it, but that's what you're gonna wanna do. Okay, now we're going to download our rig. You just need to click download here and I will leave a download link to this in the description below. So you just click download and you open this up and it'll take you straight to blender with the rig open okay now that we have our rig and we're in blender what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to move in front of the rig so how you move is you hold shift and i'm not really sure what this key is but i'll leave a picture of it so you guys can find it you just click them and now we can move around with our mouse and you move with wasd so now we're in front of our rig and we're going to need to select the head and make sure that it's like right under where the teeth are so we don't cut off any of the rings and we're going to click X and delete. So now we don't have the head anymore and what we're going to need to do next is we're going to click any body part. I'm just going to click the torso and we're going to put our mouse in this little pocket area up here and we're just going to click and drag it down and now we have two screens and we're going to click this button over here on the left and we're going to click shader editor now we're going to need to zoom in with our mouse and you can also move where you're zooming in by holding control and zooming and holding shift and zooming like that and on this texture box we're going to click this file button and we're going to find where we saved our texture for our avatar okay now that we found our texture we're going to click open image and now it's on our avatar our texture is on our rig and we're going to put our mouse in this little pocket again and we're going to just drag it up. Okay, so now that we're done with that, we need our head, but we need to go back into Roblox Studio, which is why we weren't supposed to close it earlier. And we're just going to go to our um, Explorer tab and we're going to open it up. So we're going to go to where it says our torso and our arms and legs. And we're just going to select those things and we're gonna click backspace. So now it's just the head and not the body. And we're gonna close this and we're gonna right click it and we're gonna click export selection and we're going to save it where we saved our other stuff. And I'm just going to name it head. Okay, now we need to go back into Blender and how we're going to import this is we're gonna go to file and we're gonna click import and we're gonna go to wavefront obj. So now we're going to find where we saved our head and there's going to be two options. There's going to be a head.mtl and head.obj. We're going to want to make sure that we click the one ending in obj and we're going to click import obj. So now the head is imported but it's on backwards so you're just going to select it and we're going to go to where it says xyz and you're going to click z and Put 180 degrees okay so now our head is the correct way and it's on our rig so now we need to import our prop or room or whatever you saved so you're gonna click file and we're gonna go to import wavefront obj and we're gonna click our prop make sure it ends in obj so it would be flower.obj and we're gonna click import obj Okay, now we have all of our stuff here, and now it's time that we make the GFX. We're going to click this camera option, and we're going to click Cycles, and we're going to change it to EV. And now we're going to check off Ambient Occlusion, and we're going to scroll down to where it says Film, and we're just going to open this up, and we're going to click Transparent. And then we're going to go to this, 
and scroll down to output and we're gonna and we're gonna change this to PNG and RGBA. Basically, this is what makes it transparent when we render it. You can also put in an HDRI file, which will basically import a background, or if you're using a room, you might not need a background. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're gonna go to render mode. So basically, we're on this like snowball little thing, and we're just gonna click this one. Okay, now that we're in render mode, as you can see, we have this checkered background, which means it's transparent. And also the lighting isn't here, so we're going to need to add that by going to add light and you can either do point, sun, spot, or area. I'm going to choose sun, but any of those options are great lighting. So just put it in the place that you want it to go in and we're just going to rotate it so the light is pointed at our avatar. So. We moved it with our move tool and we rotated it with our rotate tool. So it now looks like this and it looks a little bit weird because of the shadows. So we're just going to go to light and we're going to check off shadows and now it looks more smooth. So now to deselect this light because it's still selected, we're just going to click Alt A and now it's deselected. Okay, the next thing that we're going to need to do is we are going to now pose our character the way that we want it to be. So I'm just going to make it so it's holding this flower over here. So I'm just going to click this ring and we're gonna click one of our tools, so move or rotate. I'm gonna click rotate so we can rotate the arm. And since we clicked this little ring right here, we're going to rotate it and this is bending the limb. So as you can see now the arm is bent and this also makes it look a lot more realistic. Now I'm gonna click this little spiky one and we're just going to rotate that. going to go to the shoulder and we're just going to rotate this a little bit over and I'm going to go to the move tool and move the arm up a little bit so now that's how our arm looks so far I'm going to place this flower in the hand okay so now our like move tool is over here and not on top of the flower we're going to click edit and we're going to click operator search and we're gonna search set origin. And now we're gonna click origin to geometry. So now the move tool is in the center of the flower and it'll be a lot easier for us to move it. So yeah, just continue posing your avatar and I'll get back to you once I'm done posing. Also, my laptop is being really laggy. I don't really know what it's doing right now, but it usually doesn't lag, so that's very unfortunate. <laughs> I think we're done with that. All we need to do left now is our head. So we're just gonna select our head and as you can see, the move tool is all the way down there. So we're gonna click edit again, operator search, set origin and origin to geometry. And now it's up here and we can move it a lot easier. Okay, now that we've made our pose, it's time for us to add the camera so we can render it. So what we're gonna do is, if you're on pose mode right now, just make sure to click object mode. If you're already on object mode, then you're good to go. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna click add and we're gonna click camera. And now you can change it so it's like, you can change the resolution and the dimensions by clicking this button right here and 
either changing it to like 1000 by 1000 for like an Instagram post or like 1920 by 1080 which is the default for if it's like a thumbnail or something I'm just going to leave it as 1920 by 1080 and how you go into camera mode is by clicking zero in your numpad and if you can't or if it's not activated I think you click num lock first and then click it I'm not really sure on that one though you can ask me in the comments if you're confused on that too And yeah, I think our GFX is done. So if you are done and happy with your GFX, then you can go to render up here and you can click render image and now it's going to render. But yeah, here's our GFX and this is how it turned out. Anyways, I think this is the end of the tutorial. If you guys enjoyed, please make sure to like and subscribe for more. And if you found it helpful, let me know if I should do more tutorials like this in the future because I'm so down to do more. Also, we are about to reach 10k subscribers, which is absolutely insane. Like, I never thought I would get there, but you guys made that happen. So thank you so, so much. Anyways, I hope you all have a great day or night and yeah, bye guys.